After visiting friends in Mesa, Arizona and touring Biosphere 2, we decided to take the south route home to Colorado Springs so we could stop at a place we'd never been, Tombstone, Arizona. You have to want to get there, at least if you don't live in southern Arizona. It's only about 30 miles from the Mexican border. Driving into the old downtown was like being transported to the 1880s Old West, complete with stagecoaches, dirt streets, and vintage buildings. The town has quite a history before and after the infamous 1881 gunfight. It was a silver mining boom town, was frequented by outlaws and cattle rustlers, and in 1886 barely survived a terrible fire. It looks like a fairly quiet day in Tombstone. It's been raining in Arizona. Maybe it's kept a few people away. The town's motto is, the town too tough to die. And it has reinvented itself as a tourist attraction. But it truly has a lot of real Western history worth learning. Walking down the main road, Allen Street, which is close to car traffic, You'll pass some of the over 100 shops, restaurants, shows, saloons, motels, and tours in town. Okay, crowd, good fight is right this way. Actors stand in the street and tout the show that reenacts the gunfight at the OK Corral, and it truly is not to be missed. It was only a $10 ticket and included exhibits and museums in an open courtyard in addition to the gunfight site and the stage. It was entertaining and presented almost like a melodrama with instructions to cheer for the good guys and boo the bad guys. The ticket also included what they call a historama, narrated by Vincent Price in a theater with posters of the many movies made about the town over the years. Unfortunately, video was not allowed, but it presented a nice overview of the town's history. Are you all ready for a show? Yeah! On the knees, I said, are you ready? <laughs> After the show, the actors posed for pictures, and we toured some of the exhibits, including C.S. Fly's recreated photo studio. Fly was not only a documenter of Tombstone history, but his studio played a part during the gunfight. To learn even more, we headed to the Tombstone Epitaph, where the gunfight ticket also entitles you to a free newspaper that includes a copy of the original article published about the gunfight. There is now a free museum at the newspaper's former newsroom and print shop. The gunfight occurred near the OK Corral when the Marshal, Virgil Earp, his brothers Morgan and Wyatt and Doc Holliday, all of whom were deputized to help him, went to disarm four cowboys who the Earps said had been threatening to kill them. When it was over, three of the cowboys were dead, and Virgil and Morgan Earp were seriously wounded, while Doc Holliday was superficially wounded. 
one of the cowboys fled and Wyatt Earp was not injured. The three dead cowboys were buried at the Boot Hill graveyard. Not everyone agreed on what happened. Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday were charged with murder, but later exonerated. Though the most famous, this was by no means the town's only gunfight. It is well worth a visit to learn more about Tombstone's fascinating history. We are back in Colorado Springs and we're almost home. Join us next Saturday as we travel on our next adventure to Orcas Island, Washington. You, <laughs> that's what I said. You're missing. You're missing something very important. Oh. <laughs> that is, where are the horses? Where are the horses? Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> But you look good sitting there, though. <laughs>